please. Webinar from Himachal Pradesh Council, sir. I uh, well, uh, invite Shri Satpal Dimanji. Uh, thank you, Rindavaji. Uh, very good morning to everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome uh, Dr. Sudesh Moktaji, uh, the Director, Environment, Science and Technology, and Member Secretary, Himachal Council for Science, Technology and Environment. So he accepted our invitation on a very short notice to formally inaugurate today's virtual session uh, on human resource development on the eve of Vigyan Utsav. So this Vigyan Utsav is being celebrated uh, by the Department of Science and Technology Government of India to celebrate 75 years of independence under Jadi Ka Amrit Mahotsa program. So the DST uh, Government of India is celebrating Vigyan uh, Utsav uh, through the network of state councils across the country under different themes. Uh, I also take the opportunity to welcome Dr. Dev Priya, advisor and head SSTP Government of India, Dr. Rasmi Sarma, scientist DST Government of India, member secretaries and director generals of various state councils across the country, and uh, representatives, participants from different councils, and students from University of Himachal Pradesh, uh, who have joined today's virtual session on uh, human resource development. So Uttarakhand Council of, of Science and Technology and Environment uh, is the main coordinating agency. I also welcome the representatives of Uttarakhand Council. Uh, I also welcome today's speakers, Dr. Anju Dhiman. Uh, uh, she's a scientist in the University of Horticulture, Nani, Solon. And uh, Dr. VK Sarma, scientist, Himachal Agriculture University, Palampur. So both these speakers, uh, they would be discussing the state-specific challenges and they would be highlighting the activities and success stories on human resource development in their respective institutions. Uh, I have with me Dr. S.S. Sandhavaji. He is working as a principal scientific officer in our council. So he would be talking about uh, the initiatives of Himachal's Council for Human Capacity Development. So he has also been coordinating to organize this virtual session. So I also welcome him. Uh, I believe that this half-day session will be meaningful and uh, an enriching experience to each one of us. I stop here with a quote from uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam, a former president and great scientist. So this quote is on human resource development. So what it says, building capacity dissolves differences. It irons out inequalities. So it's important for every organization to build the capacities of their human resource and strengthen their skills to achieve its goals. So with these words, I stop. Uh, once again, a very warm welcome to everyone. Jai Hind, Jai Machal. Thank you very much, sir, for a warm, very warm welcome uh, from the Himachal Pradesh. Now I will request Sudesh Kumar Mokta. Uh, Sudesh Kumar Mokta is an administrative officer of Himachal Pradesh cadre of 2010 batch. He has worked at various capacities in the state government besides the divisional district magistrate of Chamba district. Presently, he is the director of environment science and technology and the director of disaster management in the government of Himachal Pradesh. And he is also holding the additional charge of the member secretary of the INCOS. Now, I will invite Shri Sudesh Kumar Moktaji for his inaugural address. Over to you, sir. सबसे पहले मैं सभी को एडवांस में जो दिवाली की शुभकामनाएं देता हूं और जो आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव है इसके आयोजन पे जो वर्कशॉप यहां ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट पे की जा रही है उसके लिए सभी को बधाई देता हूं मैं स्पेशली धन्यवाद करता हूं मैडम दत्ता का डॉक्टर देव दत्ता का जो एडवाइजर और हेड और सभी जो हमारी जो कौंसिल्स यहाँ जुड़ी हैं उनका भी धन्यवाद करता हूँ स्टूडेंट्स हमारे साथ जुड़े हैं उनका भी धन्यवाद करते हैं और जो पार्टिसिपेंट्स हमारे हैं विशेषकर सतपाल धीमान जी का अंजू धीमान जी का वीके शर्मा जी का और एसए संधावा जी का हम धन्यवाद करते हैं कि वो प्रेजेंट और क्योंकि ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट आज की थीम है और ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट के उपलक्ष में के बारे में इंपोस्ट किस प्रकार से यानी कि अपनी भूमिका निभा रहा है इसके बारे में थोड़ा सा प्रकाश डालने की आवश्यकता है जैसे हम जानते हैं पूरे भारत में 
जो साइंस कौनसी बनी थी नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स में मेनली साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी और इसका एनवायरमेंट स्थापित करने के लिए थी और जो ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट पर इस कड़ी को जुड़े तो कुछ कुछ कंपोनेंट जो डायरेक्ट और इनडायरेक्ट रूप से इस कड़ी में हिम कोस्टे और अदर कौंसिल द्वारा की जाते हैं तो जैसे अगर हम हिमाचल कौंसिल की बात करें तो एक तो अप्रोप्रिएट ट्रेनिंग सेंटर्स के माध्यम से जो रूरल जो क्षेत्र है वहाँ के लोगों को जो टेक्निक के माध्यम से टेक्नोलॉजी के माध्यम से उनका प्रसार करते हुए उनकी कैपेसिटी डेवलपमेंट का काम हिम कोस्टे द्वारा किया जाता है हमारे पास आर एन डी प्रोजेक्ट्स इको क्लब्स स्किल विज्ञान प्रोग्राम एच पी साइंस कांग्रेस चिल्ड्रन साइंस कांग्रेस और वेरियस अदर ट्रेनिंग कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग जो प्रोग्राम है उसके माध्यम से हम कोशिश करते हैं कि ह्यूमन रिसोर्स जो हमारा है उसकी कैपेसिटी बढ़े और इस दिशा में मैं थोड़ा ये कहना चाहूँगा कि अगर हम भारत के परिप्रेक्ष्य में देखें तो भारत को हमेशा एक यंग कंट्री कहा जाता है क्योंकि लगभग पचास प्रतिशत से अधिक जो हमारे भारत में जो पॉपुलेशन है वो युवा पीढ़ी है वही हमारे फ्यूचर को निर्धारित करती है कि जो हमारा भारत है वो किस प्रकार से आगे तरक्की करेगा तो इसलिए भारत के परफेक्शन में बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण बन जाता है कि जो हम जो हमारी युवा पीढ़ी है उसको हम साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी के माध्यम से कम्पिटेंट बनाए ह्यूमन रिसोर्स जो हमारा है वो कम्पिटेंट रहे ताकि जो भी काम वो करे वो बेहतर करे कम्पिटेंट लेवल पे करे और जिससे कि पूरे भारत को फायदा मैं फिर से धन्यवाद करता हूँ सभी का कि जो इस वर्कशॉप में जुड़े हैं और हिमाचल प्रदेश भी इस कड़ी में साथ सबके साथ है और जो साइंस काउंसिल है वो इस क्षेत्र में काफी बेहतर कार्य भी कर रही है इस साल जो दो बेहतर कार्य हमारे द्वारा किए जा रहे हैं एक तो हमने साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी पॉलिसी जो इन्फोर्सटे के द्वारा हिमाचल प्रदेश सरकार ने अडॉप्ट की है तो साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी पॉलिसी जो बनाने वाला हिमाचल दूसरा या तीसरा राज्य बना है दूसरा यहाँ पर एक स्पेसिफिक सेंटर सेंटर फॉर साइंस लर्निंग एंड क्रिएटिविटी का हम यानी लगभग वो कम्पलीशन स्टेज पर है तो उसका भी हम अगले वर्ष अगर विधिवत रूप से शुरुआत कर सके तो जो साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी और इनोवेशन का एक इन्वायरमेंट होता है उसको तो हिमाचल प्रदेश में स्थापित करने में हमें सहायता मिलेगी और ये डायरेक्टली लिंक होगा ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट से सभी का धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं जी थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वेरी एड्रेस नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट अवर प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट we'll start with the university of horticulture and forestry noni uh, university of horticulture forestry noni is the uh, one of the oldest university in himachal who is looking after the horticulture and forestry related uh, issues in himachal pradesh now i would request uh, dr anju diman uh, she is the dean college of horticulture uh, to present and highlight the various issues pertaining to horticulture and forestry sector in himachal pradesh and what are the programs or uh, activities being carried out by dr bias parmar university of horticulture and forestry in this issue over to you ma'am please namaskar aap sabhi ko mera dhanyawad main share kar rahi hu abhi am i am i audible am i audible You are audible, ma'am, but your PPT is not. Okay, okay. I am just sharing it. एक बार फिर आप सभी को मेरा नमस्कार. ये जो मैं प्रेजेंट करने जा रही हूँ आपके सामने. ये मुझे गर्व हो रहा है आज कि आप लोग यू आर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस विज्ञान उत्सव एज ए पार्ट ऑफ आजादी का महोत्सव अमृत महोत्सव इस ओकेजन पे मैं आप सभी को मुबारकबाद देती हूँ मेरी जो प्रेजेंटेशन होगी दैट जैसा कि मुझे बताया गया था कि आई हैव टू प्रेजेंट द एक्टिविटीज एंड व्हाट वी आर डूइंग और किस तरह से हम हॉर्टिकल्चर को स्टूडेंट्स के बीच में कैपेसिटी डेवलपमेंट कर रहे हैं सो आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू 
आपकी प्रेजेंटेशन अभी तक विजिबल नहीं है आपने शेयर कर दी है करनी है अभी करनी है करनी है अभी शेयर नहीं हुई है मैम अभी हुई अभी दिख रही है नहीं मैम अभी नहीं दिख रही है आपके प्रेजेंटेशन आ रही है वहाँ पे सर हाँ हमारे तो आ रही है इधर हमारे नहीं आ रही है सर इधर ये जरा चेक कर लो अपना क्यों नहीं आ रही है यहाँ तो आ रही है पालमपुर में पालमपुर में आ रही है इसका 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 सोलन राजगढ़ रोड and it is uh, situated at an uh, altitude of 1270 meters above mean uh, sea level uh university as far as university organization is concerned it uh, has four different colleges uh, that is uh, college of horticulture noni uh, uh, and college of uh, forestry college of horticulture and forestry it is uh, in out stations Uh, college of horticulture and forestry thunad mandi uh, besides these uh, there are some regional stations also regional six uh, regional horticulture research and training stations horticulture research sub stations five and krishi vigyan kendras five uh, the university has a total area of 746 hectares out of which 545 hectare is uh, at the main campus and uh, out station comprises of 201 hectares uh, this is a view of uh, college of horticulture uh, noni uh, it was established in, in the year 1986 at the main campus uh, this is a view of college of forestry noni it was established in the year 1987 at the main campus this is a view of college of horticulture and forestry hamirpur which was established in the year 2014 Uh, this is a view of newly uh, established college uh, which is situated at thunad uh, mandi about uh, 77 kilometers from mandi headquarter uh, this is outreach uh, these stations has have been established for uh, conducting need based location specific research and extension activities we have four uh, uh, five regional stations that is uh, one is situated at dholapuma to cater the need of that area then uh, mashobra uh, one is at bajora and sharbu and jach another uh, kvk krishi vigyan kendras as you all know that uh, these are the centers for transfer of technology and uh, whatever technical know how we develop in the university that is uh, transferred to these uh, centers uh, to the uh, farming community Uh, as far as uh, university standing is concerned uh, in the year 2020 it was eighth among all so so you uh, 11th um, uh, among uh, 11th uh, at the 11th place and uh, as far as nif rating is concerned this was the only hp university in hp which uh, was uh, uh, under top 100 universities regarding atal ranking 2020 it falls under band a Uh, that is ranked between the category of uh, 6 to 25 and uh, india today ranking it was 25th in the candidate general universities uh university has got uh, uh, accreditation from icar and it is up to uh, 15th march 2025 uh, this is uh, some certificates which are showing uh, the major functions of the university Uh, are teaching that is academics and research and extension i would like to highlight uh, various uh, uh, activities which we are covering under uh, uh, 
uh, under all these uh, parameters. So uh, regarding the degree, we are awarding the bachelor's degree, that is BSc Honours Horticulture, BSc Honours Forestry, uh, B.Tech Biotechnology. Master's program are uh, in horticulture and forestry as well. And uh, besides these, we have uh, MBA Agribusiness and MBA General. Similarly, in various disciplines of horticulture and forestry, we are awarding a PhD degree. Besides this, we are running a one-year diploma program on fruits, vegetable processing, and bakery products. The total strength for the students for the academic session 2020-21 uh, was 2,627, out of which 62% were uh, are girls and 38% uh, are boys. The total foreign students at this moment are 16 with us. These are the uh, different uh, areas in which we, we are awarding PhD degrees, uh, 20 different areas. Uh, regarding the infrastructure and uh, resources available with us, we have virtual and smart classrooms. UG and uh, PG laboratories, seminar halls, education technology cell, in the, uh, instruction farms, library, shopping complex, recreational facilities are there, and, transport and uh, transportation for students and uh, staff are there. These are the glimpses of uh, uh, some of the laboratories. We have got a national accredited lab uh, on biocontrol, and that is uh, uh, on the national level. As highly sophisticated equipments are there, we have fruit uh, entomology lab, soil and leaf analysis lab, uh, microtome, and uh, herbarium as far as our uh, forestry part is concerned. So all these labs, uh, they have uh, very sophisticated uh, equipments uh, uh, besides other laboratory facilities and uh, classrooms. Uh, this is a library facility for uh, capacity development of uh, uh, students and uh, uh, the uh, uniqueness of this uh, library is that uh, it has uh, RFID, that is radio frequency identification devices, they have been installed uh, for the self check in and check out. Uh, regarding the facilities for the students, uh, we have nine uh, uh, girls' hostel and six boys' hostel, besides two international hostels. We have better facilities for the, uh, we, as we have uh, primary health center here, and university playground, NCC parade uh, ground, gymnasium for indoor games, modern fitness gym, LS Navy auditorium for all recreational activities and uh, formal, uh, uh, formal workshops and seminars, uh, student center uh, and campus cafes, training and placement center. Uh, regarding uh, students' cultural and uh, social activities, I am showcasing some of the uh, glimpses of uh, students' participation in different co-curricular activities. Uh, this is Yoga Day was celebrated and uh, the ELP students uh, for their camp. Uh, these are some sports activities and gym facility, NCC cadets and classroom facilities. Uh, these uh, students, uh, some of the pictures which are, I am showing to you are the uh, students who are working for their ELP program. ELP program, most of you might be knowing that is the experiential learning program which is uh, implemented in the final year of uh, in the College of Horticulture for BSc students finally and uh, in the third year for forestry students. Uh, in, under this program, we have taken some initiatives this year. Our Honorable Vice Chancellor has started some of the vocational courses besides their ELP training. Under ELP training, the students they go for uh, uh, industrial attachment, farmers attachment, and uh, whatever they learn from the university uh, 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 fields and uh, field training and laboratory training, they expand that uh, uh, knowledge to the farmers and learn from the farmers' field what are type of problems are uh, they are facing and how they can be solved. Whatever they learn, they transfer it to the farmers. And uh, processing unit facil facilities are there for the ELP students and uh, uh, they earn uh, while they uh, learn. To build the uh, personality of students, 
different types of webinars and uh, seminars on soft skills uh, to inculcate the social values and moral ethics in students, different type of webinars are organized. Our students uh, which uh, pass uh, from this university, they uh, get jobs in various organizations, uh, especially to mention is the, are the state departments of horticulture, agriculture, department of education, state forest services, state agricultural universities, private professional universities, institutes, uh, Indian forest management services, state forest, uh, forest services, uh, administrative services, food processing industries, banks, multinational companies, ARS, university teachers, entrepreneurs, etc. Other students from time to time are getting honors and awards. Uh, some of uh, these I have quoted here. Uh, I especially I would like to mention that two students from uh, this university, they participated in Republic Day Parade in uh, 2020 from the PM's box where only 100 students so countrywide were uh, invited. Uh, uh, Dr. Jagriti Thakur College of Forestry that uh, she bagged the Fertilizer Association India's Golden Jubilee Award. Uh, every year the students from this university, they are selected in VRF, SRF, NET, ARS, ACF, HD, uh, HDO and uh, as assistant uh, scientist, professor, etc. Uh, especially to mention here is the uh, Mr. Lukesh uh, Vanot, BSc Forestry, who got silver medal at the World Boxing Championship held at uh, uh, Argentina. Mr. San, uh, Miss Sandhya, first she got the uh, first prize in Senior National Alpine Sky and uh, Snowboarding Championship in 1920. Uh, 1890. Uh, this is a glimpse of. Uh, uh, similarly, our teachers they are time to time getting awards and honors for their excellence. Uh, regarding research uh, events, uh, achievements, I would like to highlight that we have uh, enough experimental farms to conduct the research of, of the students as well as the uh, research in the research projects. Uh, and laboratory facilities uh, in the various fields are available, they are, the labs are well equipped. Uh, university uh, submitted uh, 183 projects uh, for rupees 60.6 crores in the last two years, out of which 44 sanctioned for rupees 16.88 crores, 25 crore ICR World Bank NAHEP project sanctioned in the year 2020. Uh, we applied for the incubation center under the scheme, uh, Prime Minister's uh, uh, PMFME scheme, uh, for which we have been uh, granted 3.72 crores uh, for the establishment of incubation center uh, in the campus itself. We have uh, applied for the incubation center, uh, uh, that is the grant of uh, work rupees 3.25 crore in the district of Kinor for fruit wines and other products under uh, which is under consideration by PMFME. Under HP, HDP ongoing projects, uh, the grant has been released uh, 26.50 crore for R&D. Under HP Shiva projects, we have received, uh, we have uh, been uh, granted uh, uh, an aid of rupees 50. These are uh, just uh, the uh, projects which are going on. So coming to the technologies developed and uh, whatever the technology we are developing that these are being transferred to the farmers in the field. So we have high density apple plantations that have been successfully uh, developed by the university and the productivity level uh, has been found to be 42 uh, metric tons per hectare. This is a glimpse of, and uh, time to time, the university is uh, recommending the varieties and uh, developing the varieties uh, in case of uh, various uh, fruit crops. And uh, this is a glimpse for the apple varieties. Uh, this is for uh, different crops which are have been uh, released by the uh, developed by the university. Uh, these are some of the problems which are being faced by the, and the solutions have been found by the university. Uh, again, uh, various types of technology which are developed in case of uh, 
propagation techniques in walnut and uh, nylon mulch, mat, flower bud, and uh, uh, bud brief emergence. So uh, uh, some of the technologies, new uh, varieties which have been introduced, introduced by the uh, university are listed over here. That is in case of peach, pear, apple, grafted plants, apple rootstocks. Uh, university is also producing nursery uh, technologies and uh, uh, which are uh, through uh, conventional and tissue culture. So these are some of the technologies for uh, uh, kiwi fruit rooting by cuttings and walnut chip budding, walnut uh, apicotyl uh, uh, grafting. Uh, this is uh, a glimpse of uh, uh, rejuvenation of old and senile uh, mango orchards. Uh, we have built the medieval orch orcharding in uh, uh, Guava, and uh, this is uh, in Dholakuma uh, research station. Uh, the technology has been developed for shiitake mushroom and fruiting bodies of uh, uh, fruiting bodies. Uh, Different uh, uh, varieties for flower crops have uh, also been developed by the university. So this is a glimpse of chrysanthemum, uh, that is Solan Shingar. Uh, these are some of the varieties for rose, uh, carnation, lilium, and astronomia. Uh, this is this uh, uh, slide I am showing that uh, one uh, we have one project uh, that is on the dry flower. Uh, 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 dry flower produ production. Uh, this technology, we are uh, uh, transferring it to the self-help groups. Various ladies, they have started it as a business. So, uh, this uh, project uh, lies with the Department of Floriculture and they are preparing various uh, decoration pieces, uh, greeting cards, uh, and uh, providing hands-on training to the uh, farmers. They are getting uh, income from, by selling these cards and uh, uh, on. Uh, regarding processing, food processing, uh, various uh, 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 work uh, is being carried out and has been carried out in different crops, out of which some wild crops are there. This is a slide which I am showing to you is of a prickly pear that is wild uh, species, uh, out of, uh, which is a very rich source of uh, anthocyanins and uh, various products uh, have been developed and uh, uh, recommended by this university. From time to time, we, uh, we are trying to develop various uh, 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 nutritious products from, uh, uh, the, uh, from uh, cereals and pulses also. Uh, that iron rich and uh, depending upon the uh, type of the crop and uh, which nutrient can be supplemented in the uh, cereal crops. Uh, this is again we have worked uh, complete protocol technology for the uh, kiwi fruit, uh, stone fruits like uh, plum, apricot, and uh, we are utilizing the seeds of. Uh, uh, apricot also for production of oil, which is of very high uh, quality uh, as far as nutrition is concerned. Uh, then complete uh, technology protocol has been developed for the wild pomegranate. That is uh, very sour in taste and uh, uh, locally anadana is produced and uh, the quality of anadana has been improved by developing this protocol. Uh, another one we are time to time uh, uh, developing uh, mechanization uh, machines also. So uh, mechanized method has been developed for apple pouring and uh, then seed extraction and then packed packed formation from apple pomace. Uh, then again uh, pear which goes waste uh, that uh, we have developed an analog for uh, osmo drying that is production of petra. We have developed solar dehydrator on the commercial scale and that the technology is being uh, transferred to the uh, farmers and uh, we are installing it in the farmer's field. Uh, uh, whosoever demands for it, we provide it and we give them technology for uh, drying of various fruits and vegetables also. So this is a, a slide. Uh, Harar, uh, we have uh, recommended that uh, varieties for uh, uh, production. Uh, and uh, uh, 
various varieties and uh, this uh, uh, slide shows uh, the uh, production of uh, superior quality resins from uh, cheer pine and this technology is being adopted by the uh, state department of forest uh, this is the model which we have worked uh, that is the uh, agroforestry models work for uh, optimum land use and uh, climate uh, resilience so uh, uh, the model for turmeric uh, under poplar, mustard under willow, uh, salix hybrids under uh, field evaluation, and then woolly fox globe uh, crop under poplar. So these were some of the uh, models which we have worked in the case of forestry. Uh, now coming to the recognitions and research. Uh, I feel happy to uh, share with you that uh, we have got uh, uh, best center award among the 31 centers in India for AICRT on post harvest engineering and technology. And similarly, our honey bees and pollination uh, pollinators uh, center was also recognized as the best research center under FE. Extension education, uh, coming to extension education activities. So we have uh, proper infrastructure for uh, extension activities also. We have publication and printing cell. Uh, then museum, examination hall, agriculture technology center, training hall, technology demonstration, high density plantation, uh, water harvesting technologies, agri horticulture forestry farming systems, uh, solar energy park. Uh, every year we are organizing different types of training programs for the capacity development in uh, students as well as the farmers. Uh, that is the institutional type of training programs, off-campus training programs, guided, guided visits, nutrition uh, weeks, education days, farmer scientist interactions, and advisory services are being provided by this university. Uh, besides these exhibitions, crop seminars, uh, radio TV talks, and uh, like other universities, we are also organizing. Especially to mention here is the uh, innovation scheme, Mera Gaon, Mera Gaurav, that is being in implemented uh, in this university, and we are getting good results out of this. These are some of the glimpses of the farmers getting training um, uh, in different stations and uh, out stations or in the main campus. Uh, this is uh, what we did. Uh, all of you are quite aware of uh, the fact that due to COVID, uh, we were not able to uh, have physical interaction with the farmers. So we tried to uh, organize a virtual Kisan, Kisan Mela in which uh, we uh, uh, received queries from at least uh, 300 farmers and uh, their, so they were provided a uh, solution at the spot and uh, uh, we sold uh, uh, the plants to the farmers uh, during this occasion also. And these are, uh, this Kisan Vela has been organized physically. Uh, we put exhibitions uh, at various uh, uh, way to showcase the activities of the uh, university and also we uh, 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 invite the entries from the farmers to uh, have a competition uh, for their crops. Uh, during the, uh, 2019 and 20, the, if we can see from this uh, uh, table that uh, 1920 we sold 2053, uh, 253,457 uh, plants and it was increased to 3,69. Uh, under uh, uh, 69,370. Uh, we have fixed the tar target now uh, above than 380,000 for the next year. So these are the glimpses of the farmers who came and uh, uh, bought their plants. Uh, so uh, this is, uh, we are organizing from time to time uh, field days. And then on 28th, uh, 28th July, 2021, we organized field day in which 100 farmers participated. So these are the glimpses which we provide training to the farmers uh, uh, in the laboratory and the uh, farmers field. So uh, this is again uh, the glimpses of uh, uh, providing training to the farmers. Uh, this, uh, the package of practices, whatever the technology uh, the university developed, uh, these are to be transferred to the uh, farmers uh, or beneficiaries, we can say. Uh, these uh, are got approved uh, in the uh, meeting in which the uh, State Department uh, officers are there. 
and uh, the whatever the technology they, ha uh, they have been developed and recommended by the university they showcase in that workshop and uh, finally a package of practices is prepared which uh, uh, which is uh, which is made available to the farmers for their application uh, one more time to time in Kobedi also we organize one more program and the students they are participating in this program uh, again, uh, a foundation day was celebrated uh, online and in which uh, Honorable uh, Governor Sir, uh, Mr. Uh, Shri uh, Bandaru Dadatari, he was the chief guest and the CM, uh, uh, Honorable CM also uh, participated in that program. Uh, because uh, the farmers, they need whatever the technology we have developed, they need uh, booklets for that and the literature for that. So time to time, different types of literature, depending upon the need of the farmer and whatever the technology uh, have been developed by the university that is uh, uh, published in the form of books in Hindi as well as in English. Uh, then uh, what we, whatever the technology we uh, develop, uh, we try to uh, transfer it to the uh, farmers so that they can uh, uh, become entrepreneurs and uh, earn uh, money from that and become self-dependent. In this uh, series, uh, last year we transferred the technology on apple cider vinegar uh, to Messrs. Uh, Ruhil Foods. Another one technology was apple rings and then another, another one technology was apple pomace for value addition. That is in the form of uh, powder and uh, utilization of uh, uh, apple pomace in different forms. Then uh, 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 value addition in uh, ginger and garlic. That was also uh, the MOU was signed and uh, we sold these technologies to the farmers. Then uh, technology transfer through technical know-how for establishment of apple processing industry. Uh, this was uh, uh, given to uh, our technical guidance was given uh, by, the, by our scientists to establish that uh, uh, industry. Uh, then we also launched some of the products that is uh, Kachol uh, is a product uh, which is a local product of uh, uh, Solan district and uh, one entrepreneur, uh, he got it uh, standardized from our university under the CM startup scheme and uh, uh, he has uh, started his own business in this regard. And uh, this is a traditional corn based uh, dish. Uh, being uh, being uh, made by the uh, local people here. Uh, then the herbal sanitizer that was also uh, 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 that was also released by the uh, uh, College of Forestry. Uh, again, the apple cider technology again was uh, uh, launched by Hilly Foods Shimla. Uh, this is the uh, our KVKs. They are doing very well and they are transferring the technology, whatever the technical know-how how is available with the university that is being transferred to the farmers uh, to build their capacity. Uh, so uh, in this regard, we uh, got the KVK Solan was ranked as the first uh, in Himachal Pradesh by ICAR. And KVK Shimra uh, stood third among the all 69 KVKs of June 1. And new initiatives, uh, initiatives uh, as I have already uh, told that uh, our new college, Thunag, was, uh, 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 was inaugurated by uh, Honorable CM. Uh, uh, we are trying for a clean and green campus. In this uh, series, we uh, are developing solar farm fencing system here because Monkey is a menace over here and uh, over here throughout the country. Uh, so, uh, solar steam cooking for hostels, we have initiated this and it is ready to uh, be started. Uh, we have purchased uh, battery operated uh, vehicles uh, for green campus. Uh, then solar rooftop plants we have established. Uh, we are, uh, the work has been started and uh, it will be of 640 kV. Then solid waste management system is there proper and the central laundry system is being uh, uh, established. The efficient solar lighting system, uh, the work is almost uh, at its last stage. Uh, another uh, uh, initiative we, which we have took this year is the online admissions. 
online teaching and examination system, academic management system that has been launched by this university. Uh, then sustainable model high density apple and wild, uh, wild pomegranate that has been, the orchard has been established. Uh, then smart and virtual classrooms. Uh, some uh, we were having earlier, but under IDP project, we are creating uh, virtual classrooms also. Then uh, uh, one uh, that is uh, passed through the academic council that the students to have uh, proper knowledge or practical knowledge of uh, the village conditions and the problems faced by the uh, farmers uh, in their fields. Uh, we have uh, attached, we, we have uh, attached one UG student with one family, with uh, farm family, so that he can come to know the basic problems of the farmers and uh, he can have, he can develop his professional skills well. Then uh, provision of visit to top research laboratories, institutions for research students and uh, scientists. We uh, had planned to send our uh, students to foreign countries and uh, to visit uh, uh, local uh, to have local visits for uh, uh, their exposure uh, then the foreign uh, visits to the of the students that i have told then the short term short, uh, certificate courses uh, this is a new idea which uh, was uh, implemented in this year and our uh, um, uh, elp students that is final year students they have attended these courses we have launched uh, courses on uh, mushroom cultivation, short term courses that is uh, 72 hours uh, uh, duration, uh, they will be completed uh, offline and uh, that is uh, hybrid mode. Uh, the practical training they will be getting whenever they get time in off hours or in Saturdays and Sundays. So the teachers, they are, they, the students, they are learning uh, uh, the uh, extra skills uh, for their uh, job uh, uh, job upgradation. Uh, now, uh, new in initiatives in uh, academics. Uh, uh, previously, we were having our own uh, system of uh, 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 that is uh, physical system of uh, 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 our own uh, examination system for UG uh, exam uh, uh, entrance examination. Uh, and PG students, we were uh, taking merit of the students. And now we have uh, uh, implemented National Testing Agency uh, test in the year 2021-2021 for admission in the different programs. Uh, in research also, various initiatives are being, but wood banks, establishment of seed villages, large scale uh, production of vegetable seeds, uh, then selection of desirable uh, bud spores, germplasm in fruits, production of modules for high density plantation and value added products of horticultural and forestry crops. Uh, online registration of farmers have been started now for uh, sale of products, uh, sale of uh, uh, plants. Uh, then uh, uh, we have also st uh, started skill development courses for unemployed youths. Uh, then publications. Uh, uh, modifying Uh, uh, just a minute, please. Mm. Uh, development of pro uh, specific package practices and the development of specific videos and the dissemination of uh, 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 dissemination of technology through social media, mainstream media. So uh, we have developed the, our uh, own uh, uh, Facebook page, UHF Kisan Seva. Uh, during COVID and uh, in this 52 videos have been uploaded uh, and that has been seen by uh, over uh, 25, uh, 24 lakh, lakh times and uh, over 35 lakh reach farmers in India and abroad in uh, at least 50 countries. Uh, this is uh, our uh, front page of uh, YouTube channel. Uh, we are trying our uh, uh, MOUs uh, for uh, different research and extraction uh, activities and 14 MOUs with the national and international have been signed under this. Uh, during COVID, we provide facilities for vaccination of students, teachers and uh, even the local people uh, and uh, uh, tests were, red tests were also conducted within the university in the, our health center. Uh, during COVID, because uh, uh, financial problems were there, so we 
uh, uh, we made a fee, fee waiver of uh, during this COVID uh, about rupees four point three three crores. And uh, during COVID, the uh, student boys and girls who remained here, uh, who were residing here, were kept safe so that uh, they uh, uh, they are not infected by the COVID. And uh, we conducted because uh, Rave was also difficult to. Uh, conduct physically, so we tried every effort for the students to conduct it uh, virtually. This is a new initiative uh, because this uh, fish farming was not uh, here in this university. So our vice chancellor, honorable vice chancellor, took initiative to uh, start uh, fish farming farming in the uh, campus itself. Uh, our future plans are uh, because we would like to implement the national education policy 2020, under which various programs we will uh, like to add uh, for, uh, for strengthening of uh, our students' skills. And then the mass multiplication of quality planting is also our aim to increase uh, the uh, level. Then the patenting of new technologies and extending consultancy. Then commercialization of technologies, which we are doing, but we will like to uh, uh, increase the numbers. Uh, thank you very much for your attention, please. Any questions? Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Any clarification or any query from the audience, please? So, thank you, ma'am, for highlighting the various uh, programs uh, uh, from the University of Horticulture with reference to the human resource development. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for giving the opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you. ma'am. Thank you. Now, I would request uh, Dr. V. K. Sharma, uh, Professor Chaudhary Sharvan Kumar, University of, uh, Univers uh, University of Agriculture, Palumpur. Shri Dr. V. K. Sharma ji, please. He is the director, program development placement in charge of the university. university. And, and placement center HRG in the University of Agriculture. Agriculture. Uh, so he has been working there for the last more than 20 years. So I'll invite Dr. V.K. Sharma to please highlight the various uh, programs uh, and issues pertaining to the agriculture sector in Himachal Pradesh. Dr. V.K. Sharma, please. Over to you, sir. Okay. Am I audible? You are audible, sir. But your presentation is not visible yet. Ah, just time loading. Just time loading. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. So, screen is visible, sir. You can show in the uh, slideshow, sir. Uh, visible, sir. Uh, screen is visible, but you can put it in the slideshow, sir. Ah, it's in the slideshow now. Okay, sir. Okay. Is it visible now? It, huh? It's okay now. So, sir. so, first of all, is super officer for me to call me for for me to call me for me to call me and uh, on the behalf of the CSK HBK we call me for and my, on my personal behalf, I welcome worthy director and joint member secretary, Imposte, and esteemed participants of today's special function. So, this my first slide is just to highlight the main points of concern in my presentation. We are continually, continuously adding value to our teaching, attention, and research activities for the welfare of the farming community as well as students. So, well, the topic is very specific. I will... Uh, even my single department can take half an hour. Our presentation is innovative steps. But being, uh, uh, you know, assigned only half an hour, so I will really stick to my topic. That human capacity development program of CSKC. Actually, what does it, uh, what actually all the employees of the, this university 
are joining hand together to perform mandatory functions and develop strategies for its sustenance. So in spite of the shrinking human and financial resources, our university is marching by leaps and bounds towards excellence due to collective and synergistic effects of its top management and employees. So I let you know that uh, our university is ISO 9215 certified students. Uh, that is a third party audit. It is maintaining, they are maintaining our quality management system as per the international standard, ISO 9215. So it is also holding the ranking at 14th position at all India level basis. And it is proud to say that CSK has changed the form scenario of HP and contributed largely for enabling our state to receive Krishi Karman Award of Government of India four times in a row. So this is our ISO certification certificate. And this is our ranking certificate. So I let you know that that progress, the success of any university depends on the vision of its topmost leader, top management. So our honorable vice chancellor always thinks, speaks, and acts for the welfare of the farming community. And this is the topmost milestone fixed by him for such an extensive program of CSKHP. This is a hai. किसानों के प्रति प्यार, that is, किसी विश्वविद्यालय का यही प्रयास प्रत्येक कृषि का हो सही होगा। तो I I am thankful to honourable vice chancellor also who has nominated me for this presentation. Virtually I am professor of soil science and the additional responsibility of program director at the placement center since 2007 and also holding responsibility of node of the uh, agribusiness incubator of CSK at the Actually, why agricultural universities have been you know, established? I, I think my slides, will, I will speak less and you people read more. Uh, this is a request from the audience. Otherwise, it will be for me to read in half an hour. So, key points. You know, Steve, that agriculture sustain human life on the earth. It, I think no justification. And in any agroecosystem, prosperity of the farmers depend on the ability to adjust to manage crop production, animal bearing, processing, marketing agriculture as per the changing scenario. To address increasing employment, it is a greater scope of entrepreneurial development in agriculture and life. So there was a need that some organizers should come, some instruments to the so that's why Agnes University came into picture, in not only in India scenario, but in the world scenario. And you know that quality resources are always bad to plan and execute sustainable agriculture development programs. So who will give those uh, as you to, uh, uh, ultimate resources? Only the agriculture resources. And now our education system in Himachal Pradesh is not it's a separate education system because ICR is the regulatory at the national level are the old teaching and research program of university and all the UG and PG and doctoral degree awarded by this university are recognized and accepted globally. And you know that uh, the, uh, there are so many, uh, there are uh, 101 ICER institutes and 75 agricultural universities in India and we have largest agricultural system in the world. And CKD is one among that state agricultural university. So we should feel proud as citizens. So, but uh, ICR is, you know, putting, uh, you know, at national level, there is a uh, form, syllabus, universal course syllabus. So, for enhancing entry, ICR introduced student ready program for one year, okay, in their uh, graduate program. And to prevent inbreeding, ICR conducts all Indian entrance examinations for the admission of 25 seats in master and doctoral degrees. And you know that. Uh, Every year, 15,000 graduate, graduate 11,000 master, and 12,000 PhD students are admitted every year. So this shows the scope and interest and scope of agriculture and interest of our youth in agriculture and life sciences. Why they are coming to this? Because so here I am telling that we are ICR accredited here. This is a certificate source. And why these are the placement areas where our students 
heavily as they are students of all India, and it is likely to graduates. So these are the areas. That's why such a big number are coming in HSC. What whoever students are there here, I request them, I advise them that, that they ask their brothers, sisters uh, to come in agriculture streams rather than running to agriculture or medical streams. Now let's come to the Himachal agriculture. So uh, we have some minor constraints, you know. We say that we have topographic constraints, there is a problem of soil erosion, there is a problem of uh, uh, you know, uh, water management, different area rate of fat. There is inadequate fertilizer use. They are saying that our fertilizer use, you know, just half of the national average. And we have scattered and marginal small farmers 80 and 80 percent. So this constraint so that as compared to plain agriculture, we have to put more and more effort for our, you know, to increase in agriculture growth. So this is the point I want to bring in the notes of our chairman, sir. That, that we can't compare real agriculture growth with real agriculture growth because of these constraints. But we are also gifted, you know, with a variety of sorry, agro climate conditions. What are our strong points? We are gifted with variety of agro climate conditions which make it suitable for growing, you know, this type of crops. We have study here. Heat, maize, and so many food crops, tea, high value crops. Or, and there are also with GIs, you know, Chambarwal, Kangra panties, Kangra tea, so, you know, so on and so on. And, so and, and people have to come forward to commercialize these GIs also you know, for, you know, enhancing the contribution of agriculture to the GDP. So we have to put a lot of efforts and moreover, we are organic agriculture by default. So there is greater scope of, scope of natural farming or farming in imagined place for bringing, you know, healthy food in the market. So many entrepreneurs are coming forward in this. I will discuss later on. So our challenge is in a university, you know, there's a lot of pressure, you know, there's a lot of work. Because we have to develop the POPs by growing a variety of crops on different agricultural conditions. In plain agriculture, only there are few crops and few agricultural situations. So, uh, but our university is coming up very well to face these challenges with better human resource management. And uh, one thing I just had to, they are also gifted with a diverse biodiversity. We are harboring, you know, 3,000 plural species and 5,000 faunal species. So we have a lot of, you know, treasure in our state. Now let's, uh, let me discuss that our university not sold. It has just established first number 1978. And at that time, Solon was our campus, and we are proud that now it is a separate university. It has been carved out from this campus. And uh, this university has been stylized under Marshall Pratis University of Agriculture, Horticulture, and Forestry Act. So, actually, this university has come to the acceptation of the expectation of the Marshall Pratis University of Agriculture, Horticulture, and Forestry Act. And in fact, what agriculture means? Agriculture means basic and applied sciences of soil and water management, and so many things, but ultimately, economic and social uplift of rural people. So our mandate is very specific in the act, that agriculture not simply means crop production. It means it is a multidisciplinary approach. So CSK education has been mandated to impart quality education, research, and extension in the field of Agriculture, veterinary and animal sciences, community science, and basic sciences. So we have three mandatory functions: teaching, research, and extension. Well, our this university is located wonderful in a wonderful place, and uh, you know backdrop of the snowclad polar range. So everyone knows about Palmer, but it my proud privilege to give you these highlights. Now, oh, human resource. You, saw, you see, we have 225, 221 teachers. And it is less than one word at you. And I let you know that I was the member, I was in the team of the accreditation team, uh, committee. And we were ranked, we couldn't come in the first ten because of sorters of faculty members with standard norms. And our voice was fighting hard. 
because we are just half of the standard that uh, norm standard strength core strength so uh, i am sure that uh, if uh, we are able to recruit more persons our university will be in the first step we are not less than anybody in part so 65% of total faculty here out of 235 posted at headquarter it is not just by some that the reason to meet all the teaching and training requirements in the campus so we have experimental farms and many crores in madhya pradesh but total area only 587 hectares so it is that that many makes the need your management of the institution is only judged by its finance management so i let you know that we have our account manual we have pre audit post audit and a lot of system in the university and what are say what are some mortgages given granted by the state government that and that is only meant for salary purpose that is that only helps out the salary and pension of the employees and the rest amount the i mean expenditure on other activities activities we need to protect funded by different agencies and also there is a uh, also domestic income we have a budget of i just give you the uh, figures this uh, figures from our annual report so these are expenditure so that total expenditure is 2290 crores per year on average and state government grant only 130 crores per year if you see the organizational structure and linkages to perform the mandate functions we have four colleges College of Agriculture and uh, College of Veterinary Animal Sciences. This is only one college in Himachal Pradesh. College of Basic Sciences, College of Communication Sciences. They have forty full-fledged departments, and each department has experienced faculty, adequate infrastructure, smart classrooms to carry out quality teaching, research, and extension in the area of their concern. And we have, as in Solon, Director of Research, Ma'am, na, both of us have told you, Director of Extension Education, Student Welfare Organization. chadi placements and library i should sell and so and moreover nowadays our you know international exposure the exposure for the students and the scientists we have signed 25 mus also uh, out of which 15 have been signed just last in one year under the dynamic leadership of president vashya sir so that is reason that every scientist every student should have opportunity to visit Uh, abroad so as usual you know 12 status officers are responsible to uh, for uh, university function to the vice chancellor to report the uh, function of the uh, university to the vice chancellor and vice chancellor ultimately to the chancellor we have five teams four of four teams for each college and uh, one pgd postgraduate team and this are controller that uh, all people you know their director search director of chancellor education So there are twelve state officers. So now let's have a look at what is agriculture, because there are some scientists, there are uh, participants from other streams also. So in all of agriculture, we have thirty departments, and this is the only the university in the country which have organic agriculture and also farming department also. Just I want to highlight here. We have T S Bandit Technology Department that himself has created wonders in the India industry. But uh, its uh, time is too short. So uh, uh, likewise, other department also. So we have thirteen departments, and we are offering you know expensive learning modules to graduates such as productive cultivation, commercial vegetable production, mushroom cultivation, tea has been doing technology, tea tea keeping, nursery student. But I want to tell you that our graduates are well familiar with these modules. They can go for entrepreneurship if they don't get the jobs. As a placement officer, I let you know that there is a lot of opportunities, and very few are coming as entrepreneurs. So they are uh, going for jobs, and they are getting the jobs at their own level through competitive examinations. And another thing is the that we at Palampur we have small department of horticulture. We are maintaining a class nursery of very tropical and temperate fruits, and this uh, nursery is uh, uh, adding, contributing more and more to our domestic economy. Because demand of upper fruit, uh, this is saplings, is very high throughout India. 
So we have, uh, you know, Dr. G. C. Lekki College of Veterinary and Animal Sciences, which have sampling department. So it is PGI, just uh, it is equal to PGI for animals. And we are we have PG uh, hospital also, which is called a veterinary clinic complex and livestock farm clinic. That every I think he mostly knows uh, if he has any animal, pet animal even. That where is veterinary clinic complex? That is at Palapur in uh, this in our street. So our students, our faculty, you know, taking care of uh, animal health, uh, taking care of the health of those animals which are being brought to that hospital. And uh, this uh, uh, college talks uh, generally genetic improvement of cattle, sheep, and other livestock species. It also provides animal health care through various programs, and it is also uh, strengthening annual product technologies. Means, what are the recent advances in processing of meat, milk, fur, wool, and hair, etc. So, this is a brief what Dr. G.S. Navi. And we have a college of basic sciences viewers because, uh, you know, knowledge of agricultural sciences cannot be, uh, you know, uh, uh, taken until you have a strong background in uh, basic science. So we have four departments here, biology and environment sciences, chemistry and biochemistry, microbiology, physical sciences, and one center for GI, geophysical research and training. So this is, uh, itself shows that uh, uh, this is GI, uh, given federal person center has a lot of, you know, uh, I mean, scope and, you know, a lot of projects also uh, and, uh, and invite a lot of funding also from different agencies. So this college is also equipped with very good laboratories. I just mentioned we have physics laboratory, chemistry laboratory, botany, geology, computer, biochemistry, biology, environment sciences, and GIS and remote sensing. I request the students that whenever they visit this university to visit these laboratories also. And we have, even in the College of Basic Sciences, we have modern bamboo nursery of promising clones of promising clones and also permit most production unit. So that shows that uh, how that College of Basic Sciences is inclined to the service of the farming community. That is simply the motivation for the top management. Now, College of Community Science, we have five departments. Food science, nutritional technology, family resource management, human development, textile, apparel designing, community science, and community management. Actually, what is there inside? I have just highlighted here that we are running lab nursery schools since 1988, just as a model for rural Anglwadis. We have conducted 37 job, uh, trainings so far, 39 professional courses, and a total of 3,421 Anglwadi workers have been paid here at CSK, HKV. Where uh, the faculty of uh, you know this uh, college act as a coordinator. So Department of Family Social equips the graduates with skill and knowledge in hotel and hospitality industry. Also, their Department of Apparel and Textile Designing. And generally, people say that uh, what is the scope of these uh, students of commerce science? Our students are well placed. They are working somewhere as assessor supervisor, school teacher, children consultant. Come consider design equality, also quality, also execute, actor, execute. It will sell do nothing for them because we cultivate only competitive spirit among them. They search their job essence. So I am not claiming here in the HRD placement center that I have posted them. So as far as the teaching is concerned here, so we are offering here seven bachelor uh, degree programs which are listed below. And 27 masters and likewise doctor programs. And here we see that present we have 1,643 students and girls are more. And so, uh, so far, 8,400 students have been passed out from this university. Present in the is 819. Here there is special provision for HP 105 general category SC, ST, SF, and ICR as per the government norms. So here three programs are from, from ET entrance based. Those are BSc agriculture, BBSC animal husbandry, and master's pro. And for the others, those are merit based. So here people may note it down, participants may note it down. 
that uh, these are the programs which are being offered in HPTV Palam. So I get many calls, sir. Which uh, which programs are there in agriculture? And I get all of them on my website. I want that those uh, particular student participants here, they must advocate these things. They must advocate these things in their nearby areas. Now this is the uh, now question arises. Teaching is done by everybody, every university. So how to, you know, add quality in teaching? For that, HRD placement center has been established in the university. So we are providing them guidance to pursue, higher, you know, education within the country and abroad. We have arranged posted classes for them. We are preparing them for very competitive examinations. We are also helping them in entrepreneurial programs and other jobs are ISO certificate and induction education course. You know. Now the question is success stories. So I want to bring two things before the notes of the, for the, for the candidate of the chairman and other participants. That, uh, you know, single sentence, single word can change the mindset of a person. So actually what happened between 2003, there were so many strikes of agriculture graduates are providing government jobs because at that time there was shortage of jobs. So what happens? Everyone was worrying. Our placement officer at that time left the job. I can't accommodate you know so many students. I have to take the charge. And VC at that time directed the center to organize personally to a very important program to students by inviting Emirates Fund to change their mindset and motivate them for killing companies once for better, better higher education placement. I let you know till now. There is no problem, no student come to with our job, and there is no strike. So that is the impact. And we continuous, continuously are carrying out you know, career counseling program, personal development program. And also something one great thing is that because generally uh, teachers have three functions: teaching, research, and extension. So whenever we ask them that, okay, you go for counseling, the students say, sir, we don't know how to counsel. So we have imparted training to the teachers also. As the, to make them student counselors. So they are give, giving the training. We have given the training to them and we have trained them. And those efforts were appreciated by the Chancellor of them, Chancellor and DGICR also. And uh, Reggie Free Institute, uh, everybody knows, is one of the success story of this university. But student counseling actually is nothing. Student then comes that say, I need you. Uh, you uh, give us you. We say to them, and it is you who have to identify the job. So it is hard to enable the student to identify full well. We are just assisting them. So I am just giving here the highlights that what sort of uh, role of student counselor provides to the students, uh, what are the activities, what are the help. They disseminate up to date occupational as well as information to each student, carrying out personality development programs also. They help. Taking remedial courses for adjustment, education, vocational, personal problems. If they report to the uh, to the director, of program director of the coordinator to organize some programs depending on the need of the students. And if we have to invite special counselor, also be invited also for a particular student. And since 2010-9 student constitutions for necessary in each college under the supervision of the concerned team, a class in charge provides counseling service with a team of counselors. About five to ten user students are allotted to each counselor, and there is one counselor advising for each of these students. And you know, to, whenever a student comes, you know, uh, to the college, they are very new; they know nothing about the system, college campus, campus life. So to make the uh, stress student aware of the system, job opportunity, etc. So we have introduced orientation course also. Uh, I mean, in the first year, and we have also modern computer hall with 50 bus stations in the center to provide free computer and internet facility to our students. So we also conduct coaching program because uh, actually it is not, uh, it is a necessity nowadays because academic standard of an institute is evaluated on the basis of the performance of students in national level fellowship and job competitive examinations. So whenever academic team comes, so they uh, generally in their performance, this is the main item. So uh, here, uh, here we also uh, that's why we conduct need-based coaching classes also. Need-based means student need-based. It is not a, 
uh, routine type of uh, coaching classes. The need is student give the topics to the concerned in charge that we need uh, 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 training and coaching guidance on this topic. And uh, program director just uh, request the expert from internal sources, external sources to conduct that training. And on an average, 150 students are qualifying for national and international examinations. And uh, here I want to say that they also compete for, you know, these uh, competitive examinations for service also. ASRB, IBPS, CSRA, you see good number of students uh, get recruitment. And this, uh, international fellowships, they also apply. One or two students every year get that award also. And you see that... Uh, Student placement scenario, this is the general uh, thing. This is general, uh, you know, uh, rating for an university, rating criteria. So, actually, nowadays, big prospect employees have their own recruitment boards, and our role is just to, uh, up, uh, just to uh, update the students with the latest happening, uh, latest advertisement, latest, latest positions in these, uh, their boards, yeah, their, uh, in uh, recruited companies, and all deals and HODs. Maintain the liaison with student employers, and we have uh, so far 30 campus placements. So far, we have done in these companies, and a, a major we have placed around more than 150 students as regular employee banks. So, actually, overall scenario, if you see of the university, 90% of the youth students pursue higher education. They are, you know, uh, competing for they are just building fellowships. They are competing for, uh, for uh, admission in various recruited institutes and 10% only join jobs. I, private and government. Why I am saying 10%? Because uh, private, because we have it also here uh, in food technology. So those students go in hotels and like that. Uh, so that's why 10% join. And about 70% of our PG students get better jobs. And other pursue PhD degree and all PhD get jobs. Either as a self assessment process and a So 100% placement. So I am giving you the list that what we have done so far. So uh, I know once uh, this is we have imparted training to teachers also. We have arranged reduction courses also to the students also. So this list I have given to you that this academic placement center is under the control of the student welfare officer and organized and also the vice chancellor. To conduct these are type of trainings frequently and regularly, and we have also established, you know, this is another new practice uh, which we have adopted in the university that we have established entrepreneurship development clubs at the college level to promote innovation, to promote innovation-driven entrepreneurship in the education and life sectors, whether they are uh, home science students, basic science students. In all colleges, you know, veterinary students. So uh, there are different ways and means by which the coordinator of the entrepreneurial development clubs, you know, motivating students who are interested to go for entrepreneurship and helping them uh, in this regard also. So these are the objectives of eight clubs. We are organizing entrepreneurial awareness camps, interactive sessions, exposure of faculty to national interest, startup events. Initial innovative student, uh, student projects for innovative service development to family. Actually, this uh, has been actualized. These entrepreneurship uh, development clubs have been established under Chief Minister's Startup Scheme. Because our objective is to, was to cultivate, to inculcate our culture among the students and among the faculty also. Previously, nobody was aware about what is startup and this and that. But nowadays, now every student knows, every faculty member knows what is startup scheme and what is startup. So, uh, this, so in that way, this is uh, the uh, contribution of these entrepreneurial development clubs that they have introduced startup culture, inculcated startup culture in the university. Because uh, it's very difficult to inculcate the culture. Once the culture develops, everything will go ahead. Now, that was all about the teaching. Now let's come to, towards the research. This is another our mandate function, and it is under the overall control of directorate of research. And we are conducting location-specific, need-based, and problem-oriented research. And it is 
carried out by 40 departments at the main campus, at three substations, and 10 substations. And presently, we have 89 ad hoc research projects to address the problems of the pains of the farming community, okay, from different funding agencies. And we have 28 long term academic projects from the ICI. This is a very big number on different thematic areas with budget outlay of rupees 70 crores. Because I told you that uh, our funds from state government are just our salary head for other purposes. So these are the funding agencies, these are the projects which are making up our uh, university financially healthy to perform every function. And we have released 155 improved varieties of different crops. So in Himachal Pradesh, no, fun, no farmer is allowed to grow any variety if it is not recommended by CSK by recommending agency. And we are producing around 800 to 800 and 1,000 quintal breeder and founder seed, you know, of all the crops. And we supply it to the State Department of Agriculture for further motivation and making it, it available to the farming community. So seed is the prerequisite for, you know, sustainable agriculture, for sustaining the agriculture productivity, for enhancing the agriculture productivity. So our focus is mainly on the release of varieties also and the production of reader and founders of seed also. And we have developed so far 100 farm technologies. Uh, if I give you the list, it will be very difficult, you know, to cover up that. So just uh, uh, those are here on our university website. Uh, we have established you know, model zero budget for as a farm also, because we are we have to scientifically updating you know we are scientifically investigating natural farming practices. So we have uh, uh, we are thankful to government they have given rupees three crore for establishing this natural farm. We have also advanced center on productive agriculture and natural farming also with rupees 323 crores and are doubling the farmer income, you know, uh, this is a mandate given by the central government. We have developed 20 farm-based farm models for that, for different agriculture situations. So those have been shared with the agriculture and investment departments for further uh, implementation. We have GVS-based soil fertility maps at the block level and we are publishing Himachal Journal of Agriculture regularly also. So, because this is a list of those projects, such projects, along with funding agency, in which Himko stay and a lot of uh, funds are from DVT, ICR. So, uh, I think that list here. So, I told you that there are 89 such projects presently with us. And these are the Hodo projects, uh, projects, already a coordinated such projects in which most of the scientists are getting half posted. There are vacancies for scientists also. They are working since long time. And we have here long term fertilizer experiments since 1971 in the Department of Soil Science. And that is funded by ICL. So, likewise, there are different long term eclipses. And uh, uh, this is the indication of the growth of the institution also, ranking with the institution also, that how many eclipses do you have? How many eclipses you are running successfully in your university? I think uh, 28 eclipses we have. So this is a view of Himachal General Agriculture. This is actually such publication here. Now, we have Directorate of Extension Education. So, whatever we do here, if it doesn't reach to the farmers, that is wastage of money, everything. So, not a responsibility of Directorate of Science and Education, Madam Manju Dean, uh, uh, University of Fortigan University, have nicely explained the role of that uh, extension education. So, we have here, various, we run various programs of extension at headquarters and KBKs. We have eight KBKs. And uh, we con they conduct, you know, programs like trainings, frontline demonstrations, field days, 
son because this is a mandate. This is a mandate of APJs. If they don't do it, their funding will be stopped by the ICR, and uh, their explanation will be from the university also. So it is mandatory duties that uh, uh, they have target the they have fixed the targets for every year: training, frontline demonstration, field days, Kisan Mela's, Kisan Golf Days, crop seminars, exhibitions, radio talks, TV talents, film shows, workshops, etc. And we have this is a strong point. We have close coordination and liaison with the various line departments of government. I think uh, every line department always feels pleasure to visit HPKB. They are either our students or they have love for this organization by virtue of their profession. So we have close coordination and liaison with them. And we have here a unique type of museum that is a theme based university museum. We have, we have digital tools for aggregate technical transfer. And uh, we are conducting, you know, training for the extensive functions of the Department of Agriculture, whatever animals through train, uh, I mean, very courses and uh, reference courses. We are uh, uh, just have MOUs with various big institutes uh, for the ICN award, uh, SJVN, Atma, etc., technical development and technical development. And, uh, you know, we have Connected uh, about 100 of skill development programs responsible for IT skill responsible in India. And uh, we focus mainly on training on this custom hiring, setting of service centers, vocational training for entrepreneurs, vegetable cultivation, repair and maintenance of agriculture equipment, beekeeping, mushroom uh, production, fruits and vegetable preservation, dairy farming, poultry farming, vermin composting, training on home science and home state professions, etc. And we have taken new initiatives also. That we also prepared DPRs and developed motor board sets, adoption of safety by polio houses by KBK, one scientist, world technology, one village approach. We have, uh, you know, just uh, about five years back, we have prepared DPRs and developed 20 motor guides and IDM to protect parts of these 20 crores. And now, nowadays, what happens that farmer likes to have everything in form of a package, online package, or offline package. So we have package of practices for leaf crops, package of practices for rabi crops, vegetable cultivation, parvati khetiwadi, etc. Available online and offline. So these are the magazines which have, uh, you know, where they are displaced. They are displayed, you know, in actual technology influence center. That is the, that is located just in front of the university gate. Main gate. Where farmers, uh, you know, uh, can get, you know, literature, improved seeds, planting material, uh, inputs, etc. And also expertise to our resource persons. So that is the that is the bit of our agricultural transfer to the farmer of the university. So we have that agro technology for center also and feedback with the KBKs and from other national agriculture system can we take. And we develop the our research system accordingly. For further research and development in agriculture. And as far as, you know, because now efforts are that uh, in professional universities, we ex ex uh, expect more job providers rather than job seekers. So our focus nowadays is also more on business development programs. The government focus is also on this uh, uh, particular theme. And here we adopt learning by doing way of fostering. And during the last 10 years, I have summarized the information that we have conducted 453 six day entrepreneurial development programs in which 10,103 farmers participated at Palapur. And under Satruj with the program project, 89 six day training programs conducted in which 2,190 farmers participated. And yesterday, a day before yesterday, we had again with MOU with the SJVN to impart training to 1,000 farmers. And so besides this, we conduct a series of skill apparel programs to soil testing officers, agriculture officers, veterinary officers, and official other organizations uh, uh, with the help of different colleges. Actually, this is the, uh, this university is the hub of agriculture now. So that's why uh, we are getting a lot of support, funding support, a lot of cooperation from Government of Imagine for this. 
uh, in various activities and also from the departments. And here I am giving the list, you know, of skilled development organizers through ASI during the last five years. So, uh, Burma composed producer ke liye uh, three skill program. Uh, we organized, mala job nursery worker ke liye, organic roads ke liye. So, three, seven, four, two. You can see there are so many. Maybe around uh, twenty, more than twenty. So, because the documentation is important. So I have just given you the dates and who has conducted this program. And uh, so this uh, table is clear evident that this university is putting a lot of efforts for entrepreneurial development. My only uh, point to point of concern to show this slide is that. And here, these are sanction letters you know, from the Agriculture Skill Council of India to organize these programs. So, you know, what new innovation and uh, they have established recently a great business incubator to promote innovative, profitable, scalable business models from ideas to mature states. And presently, we have two schemes. PM startup scheme, actually, this form of the S for the establishment of this agribusiness incubator. Now, for the sustainable purpose, we are now uh, taking other schemes also. So this gave the foundation, which was this CM startup scheme. So now, on, from all India basis, we completed for other very big, uh, you know, uh, project. That is Impalam RKY Riftar Agri Business Incubator, and uh, by from funded by Mr. I let you know that there are only 26 institutes in India, including agricultural universities, before this scheme, and HPK is one of them, and about 200. Institute applied for that scheme. So uh, this is scheme, very good scheme. I let you know about that. So we have, you know, uh, so far 66 incubators with us, 15 under state scheme and 51 under center scheme. And lot are coming towards center scheme because I let you know these are the focus area of these startups. That what innovation they are adding in sustainable agriculture and in these focus areas for profitable business, not academic innovation. We don't accept that. Only that business angle point of view. If any student who have innovation and worth for creating business, worth for promoting, you know, uh, business, that will be accepted to us. So generally we have flyers, you know, regularly for CM status both offline and online. We invite the applications, candidates, and uh, we also applied candidates, uh, uh, those who are under, and these are under scheme means, those who are interested to develop MPPs, new byproducts from their innovative ideas. We provide them five lakhs, up to five lakhs. Provided they are able to do that job within six months. So for MPP development, we have this scheme, MRM program. And if anybody wants to scale up his MPP, his business model, which is innovative, he can give him 25 lakhs for scalability. So this is the flyer for that. And uh, those candidates which are selected here, we part them two month incubation program to refine their MPP. They have to scale up their MPP. And during this year, we have selected 19 incubators for pre-seed funding and 17 incubators for seed funding. And we invite resource persons from all over India, which may be technical, industry, business, entrepreneurs, startups throughout India. So now, during, you know, actually for Himpalam Agribusiness Incubator, there are three levels of selection. And final selection is by ministry, because that is national level selection. So it is a matter of confidence for me that at national level, for a marginal producer during 1920, two startups have been selected for seed funding and five startups, six startups for pre-seed funding, and they have been released the funds. They have been given. They have, generally whole funds have been 58 lakh seven sanctioned, but these funds are released. On, uh, in the uh, released in three installments, depending on their performance. 
So we have at least two installments so far. And these are the starters which we have selected during 2021 under center scheme. Again, five starters were selected at National for uh, seed funding, and five again for seed funding. Total amount sanctioned by the government for them uh, for 110.5 lakhs, and we have released in first instalment 49.2 lakhs so far. And these are the starters which we are, we are selected. We have selected and will be recommended later on for Ministry for Selection. Uh, 17 under uh, seed funding and 19 under pre seed funding. They are undergoing training, two more training. So, based on their performance, this two more training can be reported to the Ministry for Finance Selection. And, uh, you know, it's not to stop our journey, just what we have. We have also planned now. So, our another project is under approval of the Manage, Manage Hyderabad. That's an institute for agriculture and management. So, uh, for another scheme, which we call agriculture agribusiness center scheme, here we can provide the opportunity of 40 agripreneurs for opening up agriculture clinics or agribusiness center. And these are the features, you know, those candidates will, will get 45 days free training and only support for CGV loan and subsidy up to one year. 20 lakhs they will get uh, individually and one crore in group. And uh, more subsidies. 36% for general and 44% for women. This is a good news for you know uh, women candidates promote women entrepreneurship. So eligibility is given that uh, there. So uh, there are three levels of selection uh, for this project. We have qualified two levels. Let's see what happens in third level. So we have uh, university library. You know, and very big library and nationally recognized library. So I think uh, everyone knows, knows about this you know, uh, library of CSK, uh, CPKB that uh, it is catering needs of student teachers, training students, especially student staff of the students. And what more important is that we have uploaded our thesis of the students there. And we have that dynamic library, mobile library service. We have online mobile service. Student can see everything. On, through mobile also, and it is only the library which I have declared designated uh, as the repository library also. So all public FOA publications comes here, comes here free of cost, and we supply them free of cost to the data. So we have international coordination cell because I'm testing what are the new things, not routine things. We have just have international coordinate cell and to facilitate for international students for admissions and their stay at CSK because for the national accreditation, for the national ranking, so this point is very, very important that international exposure, how many students are coming. So uh, we have created that center and all the summit students, all the that, uh, staff of the cell is busy to make that liaison with the other institutions under the dining duties of Vaishans. And as usual, we have student welfare organization also. So there is no problem of you know, hostel uh, discipline and we also provide uh, NCC, NCC courses, NS courses to all male and female students. And we have ICT cell, which is uh, looking after the digital needs of, uh, needs of the administration of student and teachers of far For example, today I'm sitting in the virtual classroom of this ICT cell. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, this uh, is providing all online facilities, this cell. If any teacher, any department has some problem, some issue with the networking, so they invite, okay, you come here and we will provide the facilities for this program. So this is a, uh, I mean, you know, everyone is, uh, if an exam is to conduct it, no problem. You can take the help of ICT cell, they will manage the things. And uh, second important thing is that they are designing and applicating of the university website as per the changing needs. And every uh, website is quite dynamic, you know, and uh, it is in both languages, in the end, English. And we have also uploaded Kosan portal to provide information in Hindi to the uh, farmers. And we have also distributed digital, you know, 
to provide digital degree to the master students of the university. Not, no, no need to come here. They can just have the degree from the DG local. So that's all from my side. Thank you very much for the patient hearing. So I'm ready to face any questions from any participants. Nandava sir. Thank you very much, sir, for a wonderful presentation highlighting the various programs of uh, CSK Palumpur. Any clarification or any query from the audience? Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Now, thank you, uh, we'll be presenting uh, the last uh, presentation from HIMCOST. We have kept ourselves uh, uh, in the last being the host. So, Am I audible and my presentation is visible to all? No, you are audible, but we cannot see your presentation. You are audible. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Is it okay now, sir? Yes, yes. Now you just project it. It, it is in a non-projected mode. You just okay. project it so that no. everyone can see. Yeah. Now I think it's okay. It's in the slideshow now. No, it's not. Uh, we cannot see it in a. I cannot see it in a slideshow mode. But that is fine. That's fine. You, you can go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so me, I'll be talking about the uh, Himachal Pradesh Council's activity with reference to the human resource development uh, in the state. So just an uh, overview of the councils. The council was established in the government of Himachal Pradesh as part of the country's nationwide program by Department of Science and, Science and Technology in 19, way back in 1986. Uh, and it was uh, uh, created in the state to advise state government in formulation of policies and programs, then development and transfer of technologies, then pooling and exchange of scientific knowledge, then promotion and popularization of science education, R&D and dissemination information related to science, technology and environment. So uh, the main wings of the HIMCOST Shimla, we have about 10 wings, separate wings, which are uh, mainly at Shimla, but few uh, another our sister concerns at uh, uh, across the state, like appropriate technology center, which was established in way back in 95. Then we have a patent information center, which was established in 1998 and uh, taking care of the geographical indications. Then we have a, a national green corps program uh, then we have an environment information system uh, program. Then we have a state biodiversity board that is also housed in the HIMCOST. Then we have uh, established Arabat Geoinformatics and Space Application Center, uh, which was established in the state to take uh, to promote the geoinformatics in the governance of the state. Then we have also established the state center on climate change uh, in 2012. Then we are also taking uh, generating human resource through R&D projects in, uh, from the different universities, uh, academic and scientific institutions. When we are also taking uh, different programs for the size popularization, uh, and uh, we are also a wetland authority which take care which takes care for the uh, wetland programs in the state. Next. So this is our organizational structure. We have the chairman at the top, uh, who is uh, administrative secretary of the state government. Then we have the member secretary. Then we have the joint member secretary. Then we have the uh, establishment sections. We have, uh, besides, we have some wings like AGSAC, remote sensing, science popularization, R&D, climate change, and biodiversity, which is being headed by different uh, scientific staff for taking care of different activities across their uh, divisions. So now, uh, some of the programs and activities which have been taken care by the HIMCOST 
for the human resource development in the state like uh, schemes which are being uh, taken care by the uh, in cost are the yuva uh, vigyan puraskar yojana then we are also taking partial travel support scheme scheme for the scientists and the uh, academicians for the generation of human resource by way of presenting their research uh, at the national as well as the international level then we also develop different training programs uh, at different platforms then first is the yuva vigyan puraskar yojana this is the yojana uh, which has been uh, started by the himcost with the uh, budget assurance by the honorable prime chief minister himachal pradesh and under this this scheme was uh, uh, inaugurated on 9th february 2018 in which 10 meritorious students of 12th class medical and non medical stream were awarded 1 lakh to uh, 10000 Uh, prize by the him cost uh, and uh, total 123 students have been awarded from 2018 to 2020 under different categories who stood uh, first uh, 10 ranks uh, in their uh, 10th and 12th classes then we have also introduced the partial travel uh, scheme scheme uh, by the him cost which provides uh, partial travel assistance to deserving bright young scientists and research scholars working in academic and research institutions and the scheme does not provide assistance towards lodging boarding maintenance registration fees uh, they, they only provide a lump sum money around 60000 to the different uh, applicants uh, Uh, for their meeting there some uh, funds for completing their uh, assignments uh, with the international platforms so in this under this scheme we have funded ar around three uh, applicants in 2017 18 one in 18 19 and in 1920 we uh, uh, seven participants were uh, funded and 2021 no one was funded because of that covid 19 restrictions then we have a training programs like uh, we uh, we give training with uh, to the masons on earthquake resistant buildings this uh, train since most of about 90% of our areas and the rural areas in the state and the constructions in the villages is the non engineering constructions which do not follow any Uh, features like uh, how uh, because uh, earthquake resistant features as we are in the highly earthquake resistant zones zone 5 and 4 so the uh, mitigation part of for having earthquake resistant designs in their building is is very important part for the construction activity so we have been trained we are training uh, masons rural masons who are the architects in the rural villages for constructing different kinds of uh, houses uh, construction in their villages so we have imparted uh, six uh, uh, trainings uh, in this uh, under this program at in october 19 uh, we had trained 26 participants then december 9 1923 then january 20 22 february 35 february 20 29 so this uh, this number of participants masons rural masons have been training have been trained for constructing earthquake resistant houses in the rural himachal so these are some of the glimpses of the training programs which have been conducted across the state and at different times so like you can visualize the things what uh, from we, we we impart them training from the uh, zero level to the construction level how to construct a building what type if they are constructing load bearing buildings or if they are constructing uh, frame structures what type of precautions they have to this is part of the uh, preparedness as part of the earthquakes in the state so at the the end product of this uh, training program uh, we we generally construct the demonstration structure in the uh, at the panchayat level and then product is this these type of structures which we uh, labeled with some different bands like plinth band 
window and sill van and lintel van van so that the people who are, who stays in the villages they can have a idea of this type of uh, structures and uh, they pursued them to uh, take uh, houses construct houses with these type of techniques at least with these techniques they can save their houses and uh, the post disaster effects of the earthquakes can be minimized then we have another skill began program in biotechnology this is the program which have been uh, sanctioned in to himachal pradesh council from the department of biotechnology uh, from the financial year 1920 the main objective of this program is to do, uh, to provide high quality hands on training of tools and techniques of biotechnology to the students in multidisciplinary areas of biotechnology to make the young biotechnologists ready to take up jobs in industries hospitals uh, medical colleges r and d laboratories diagnostic uh, laboratories the main source of funding of this program is department of biotechnology minister of science and technology government of india and about 4 crores have been sanctioned to the in cost for carrying different uh, programs across the state the uh, him cost has uh, tied up with different institutions for imparting training uh, to students uh, in the main institutions are csir ihbt palumpur cp central potato research institute shimla himachal pradesh university shimla then jp university of information technology bhatnagar solan then shulani university of biotechnology and management uh, sciences solan then himalayan skill development center sinmor so these institutes are imparting training to the students in different areas like uh, my microbiologist lab technician etc so on then another training program which we are conducting is a certificate course on value addition and marketing of anti fp uh, animal uh, bee keeping processing this program is the uh, green skill under green skill development program of the ministry of environment for and forest and climate change we are uh, taking students uh, plus two students from the, the state and we just give them uh, training how to uh, impart, uh, how to train them in different kinds of uh, bee keeping and processing so that they can initiate some uh, uh, local level micro lab, uh, local level industries for their Uh, livelihood generations then we have a innovating housing technology uh, we have an appropriate technology center uh, at sundarnagar uh, which imparts training program innovating houses technologies to the rural masons uh, in different areas then we have a uh, we, we also provide them the pine needle by sai so many rakha biomass into how to construct uh, briquettes from the pine needle mass so these are the training programs glimpses of the which have been carried out uh, over the period of time then uh, we also guide them how to make the uh, domestic water uh, re recycle recycle for their uh, domestic use so these type of training for in the rural for the rural masons so uh, we have a trained also watershed management uh, program to different districts like you can see then across the 10 districts we have trained uh, different watershed management rural development uh, and panchayati raj departments in uh, to tag uh, to monitor their uh, manrega's block uh, work which are being undertaken at the panchayat levels so you can see how many training uh, uh, trainees have been trained to tag their Uh, manrega program and so that the government uh, can be can visualize their progress through online mode then also uh, rural development plan functioning due to the monitoring evaluation of watershed by using geospatial technology uh, training and work consultation program we, uh, which, which is being provided to them at the him uh, cost office uh, uh, level there are also different training programs for the for the evaluation of the different watersheds how to demarcate or delineate different what micro watershed and what activities they can pr propose at the uh, village level so under empowering panchayati raj institutions uh, programs how the, they can uh, undertake the geo special technology in their development programs we have trained about uh, 363 uh, members from that uh, about 760 uh, 60 members from the different panchayats about 360 uh, 
panchayats of uh, 10 blocks of development blocks uh, across the state and we have given training how to use geospatial technology in the panchayati raj department uh, development programs so these are some of the trainings programs like for the uh, block level officers then div divisional forest officer and department fisheries then all the economic and statistic department then also the children science congress uh, how to use this web portal then uh, these are the number we undertake different training programs for how to take geoinformatics technology for their in their governance process then we have also a himachal pradesh state biodiversity board uh, under which we have a 15 capacity building programs uh, for the documentation of the people's biodiversity re registers uh, we have organized a uh, number of training programs through online uh, mode and in which about 33 local uh, 3 3300 local bodies uh, of the state have been trained and about uh, 12 1200 graduate in terms of zoology uh, with zoology and botany background have been trained to prepare the people the biodiversity registers this this with this they they are uh, for their livelihood uh, from there at the different block level we also given online training to uh, in terms on the methodology to feed information pertaining to biodiversity components on online platform for the people's biodiversity in 2021 also we have added a course on the biodiversity conservation for the capacity building of the girl students and for ensuring their collaboration in biodiversity conservation near future in 21 22 in coordination with the stand beach college one of the oldest college in the uh, Shimla. Then we have also capacity building awareness activity uh, through online mode on the importance of uh, unique biological resources in the COVID time in Himachal during International Day for Biological Diversity 2021 uh, to UGN PG students and the faculty members of the academic institutions like Himachal Pradesh University, uh, University of Horticulture and Forestry, Nain, uh, Noni, St. Beats College, MCM Dave College, Kangda. Uh, scientists of JSI and other the BMC members and the lo local stakeholders. Then consultative, consultative discussions and capacity building activities on the documentation of biodiversity components for the declaration and management of biodiversity heritage sites in Pangi and Lahore. These are one of the tribal districts of the state have been uh, trained to uh, develop the people biodiversity registers. Then also some lectures have been uh, given for the capacity building of the in the different platforms uh, like uh, uh, local GIs members, then conservation of medicine plants and their uses, uh, then biological resources, medication plants and traditional knowledge, uh, etc. Then we have also as part of the science population programs, we have trained students uh, and teachers to uh, for innovative experiments in physics like. Uh, these are the some of the training programs uh, with the objective to develop master resource trainers to train and empower especially tribal science teachers, teachers in schools located in far-flung inaccessible areas where there is no access to internet and mass media facilities. So we have trained some master trainers uh, which uh, impart training further uh, to the school students in innovative experiments in the physics. So we are also coming with a science learning creativity center at near Shimla. Uh, this is almost uh, in the final stage and by another uh, three, four months, uh, this science learning creativity center will be ready for the oh, public use. So this center, we have a uh, infrastructure like institutional block, hostel and planetarium. So this center has been created with the objective uh, to provide forum to children to pursue their natural curiosity and to and the coins to thirst for creativity and support mass dissemination of hands-on science education and lead innovation in learning then national council of within uh, ncsm we have, assi we have assigned that task for the fabrication installed different thematic science models the ncsm will uh, construct a planetarium at the same location for which uh, i'm have been signed with the ncsm government of india so this is the layout plan of the NCSM Science Creativity Center near Shimla. Then we have a uh, we have also trained human resource in terms of the geographical indicators and GIs. Like we have a, a different uh, Kangda painting, Chamba Rumal, 
kala jeera kullu shawls so these are the gis which have been uh, sanctioned by the government of india kullu shawl kangra tee kinori shawl chamba rumal kangra painting himachal chuli oil himachal kala jeera so these uh, gis have been uh, sanctioned by the sanctioning authority so we have created awareness, awareness workshop for the users uh, three units uh, for hp the hppi through hppic uh, then another one then exhibition come sale of gis by uh, through the hp patent information center we uh, every year we organize these type of exhibitions so these some of the glimpses of the uh, exhibition sales through uh, our uh, supporters in the through pic then we have also uh, generated a human resource through uh, organized uh, conducting himachal science pradesh science congress so far we have organized three science congress the first science congress uh, was uh, in october 15 16 at uh, shimla uh, with the theme role of science and technology in the science, sustainable development thematic areas were agriculture horticulture forestry life sciences chemical mathematical physical sciences engineering health veterinary and science and society a total of 220 35 abstracts were received in the first science congress then in the second science congress the theme was science and technology for sustainable livelihood in the indian himalayan regions which was organized at shimla again in 2017 in which uh, 406 abstracts from 105 institutions were received and they presented their papers and during the second himachal pradesh science congress then in the third these are some of the pictures of the second himachal science congress then in the third science congress uh, we have around 330 37 abstracts from the 97 uh, institutions with thematic area agriculture botany biochemistry microbiology chemical sciences forestry engineering mathematical Uh, and the physical sciences etc so so far we have organized three uh, himachal pradesh science congresses in the state so these are the some of the glimpses of the third himachal pradesh science congress which was organized at iit mandi and another we have a him innovate center under which we have a startup scheme and the uh, the youth with, who don't have which have the some innovative idea Uh, they come here and join in this center and uh, we are giving them around 25000 sustenance loss uh, uh, allowance uh, for a year and we are the three four areas biodiversity climate change rural technology and uh, remote sensing so these are uh, four incubators have uh, done their uh, product uh, uh, over here and for the main are the pro processing and product development swata swarita cordata cherita then compact or portable herbal uh, um, water purifier then another is a smart bin then wood burning stove so these four uh, incubators have developed uh, their startup uh, with the him cost uh, and three out of which three have completed their uh, first year and they have completed their products uh, and uh, first is uh, the last fourth one is still undergoing so these are all uh, about the, from the himachal pradesh council for science technology and environment about the different activities and the program which have been conducted so far uh, by the with reference to the human resource development across the state so if there is any uh, clarification or any doubt pertaining to from from the audience pertaining to the himachal pradesh council i can clear otherwise Uh, now it's a time for by extending my vote of thanks to all the participants i hope there is no clarification from the audience so now it's my privilege to extend my vote of thanks on behalf of him cost my sincere thanks to shri sudesh kumar bokta ji director environment government of himachal pradesh for inaugurating today's webinar uh and my also my thanks to shri satpal diman additional secretary environment science and technology for giving a warm welcome uh, to this uh, webinar my sincere thanks to dr dev priya datta dr rashmi and dr ravikant with whose efforts this sequential web series is being organized by department of science and technology under the uh, atam uh, under the azadi ka amrit mahotsav program 
uh, in which they have decided to organize began to celebrate began utsav uh, through the snt network across the state for a complete one year my thanks to uh, dr datta for their uh, great effort to bring science and technology uh, on this platform my thanks to all the participants my thanks to all the member secretaries of the different state councils director generals of the councils who have joined us uh, through the virtual mode in today's webinar um, on the last day of the theme human resource development by the himachal pradesh councils uh, and the last my thanks to the himcos team and uh, all the other students from the different universities from the university of horticulture noni and csk palompur with these words i stop here and have a good day and happy weekend sir and once again i also wish a happy diwali to all the participants and all the member secretaries of the state councils have a good day sir thank you so much sir thank you thank you Thank you.